Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. It's that time again, a reason I'm holding my Nexus 6P and 5X in my hand because there is an update to the Android N developer preview. They are on preview four, which Google is calling their second beta. Their preview three was their first beta and the other two were alphas. Now, spoiler alert, there's really only a couple things to show off on video. A lot of the main things are backend developer bug fixes. However, the new API, API 24, is going to be the one that is released and developers can implement that into their apps. I'll mention that in a bit. You'll see Twitter implemented something into their app. Okay, let's get started. So I got my 6P and 5X going to show it off on my 5X for now, set my 6P to the side. But right away, actually, since Android N, the first preview has came out, the Easter egg hasn't changed, but it has this time. So no, it does not really give any clues what they're gonna call Android N. But watch, they actually got rid of the Android Flappy Bird game, and when you press and hold on it, look at that, namey McName face. So whatever reason, obviously they want you to name it. So drop a comment below, let me know what you think Android N is going to be called. For those of you wondering, there's no dark mode in the system UI tuner, nothing like that out of the ordinary. However, something has changed in developer options. When you go ahead and turn demo mode on, so I'm going to go ahead and enable demo mode and check out what happens up at the top of the display. You'll see it says seven o'clock. And last time that happened with Marshmallow, it said six o'clock. So that basically, in my opinion, confirms that it's gonna be called Android 7.0 uh, N. So no idea what the N's gonna be called, but it will be Android 7.0 would be my guess. Twitter has taken full advantage of the API that you can quick reply from the status bar. You'll see uh, Bishki called me, hey Tom, in a direct message on Twitter. And if I want to respond, I can just hit reply and straight from there, it doesn't even open up any specific app or anything like that straight from the notification bar. I can just say, not my name and hit send. And it's going to send a direct message right back to him without even going into the Twitter app. And yes, of course, they have kept the multi window. You can press and hold the recent apps button or press and hold on an app and drag up to the top and you have your multi-window, but nothing really new in terms of floating window or multi-window at all. And sorry guys, that's really about everything I have to show you. I know these videos are usually more exciting, more features added, but at this point they're getting closer and closer to an official release. This might actually even be the last preview build, but so many of you asked for a review on this preview four. And as always, I usually try and get them up the same day. So don't worry, as soon as the official build or the next preview comes up, I will still continue to do a video, even if like, for example, in this video, it's minor changes. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Click that thumbs up if you did. You can subscribe to my channel. More and more coverage to come on Android N in the near future. And thanks for watching, everyone.